Welcome, a new video by DJ SPRC. We're back with Project Cherokee here. Our Project Cherokee is ESC needs power. And what I decided to use on this one was the Spectrum IC3 device connector, battery. Uh, basically, it's one of the newest connector on the market of uh, Spectrum. And it's little sister, little brother, should I say, or well, big brother, big sister would be the uh, EC3s and the IC3, EC3s and EC5s. And in these guys here, you have the IC3s and the IC5s. Uh, IC5s are just a lot bigger. And uh, yeah, yeah, I decided to use these guys here. Uh, one of the reasons they made these, you do have a third pin in the connector itself. You see it right here. This basically gives the, uh, this goes on the battery, gives the charger some information about the battery itself. Uh, on this application, we don't need it, but I do have videos expl explaining this about the batteries and the charger itself. But today, uh, we'll need this one here, soldered to the speed control. Now I do have my trusty uh, hot racing uh, soldering jig. Let's screw this guy here. Pop this guy in here. That way it holds it. I'm able to solder on the sides here. And uh, there's a couple of ways. You could put this in a physical device. And to prevent burning my counter, this is what I use. A piece of block. I'll put this way to be able to solder directly to here. Grab my solder. And just put some solder on the connector itself. Not keeping it there too long because I don't want to melt the physical plastic itself. And I'm just gonna reflow the physical solder on the wire. But before I do this, I'm forgetting something. These guys do have a cap. And let's put the cap before I forget. And the other thing too, I wanted to say, this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com. Check out the website. It's awesome. Now I'm trying to keep it hot at the same time and go directly to the connector. And you just went in. If you ever soldered like a, a Dean's, um, there's a couple of even the uh, castle connectors. You'll see it's pretty much the same thing. We're just not touching the middle pin. And this thing is hot. Okay. And let's the middle here there we go and now flow the physical wire itself there we go and that's done Let it cool off. Remove from the, the jig. Have a connector. I always make sure everything's fine. And what I do, you could physically grab it and push it down. I grab a socket. I know I'm out of camera right now. I grab a socket and just push it and you hear the clip. There you go. 
Now we do have an IC5, IC3 should I say, keep on mixing them, uh, on our Mamba X brushless crawler speed control. Now if you guys have any comments or questions down below, please post them down, I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up in the corner here. And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, hit that bell icon. It will notify you when next time I upload. Thank you for watching.